What's going on everybody? This is Jason with JCS Reefing and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna go over how to program this DIY switch box on the Neptune Apex. If you haven't seen the previous video on how to make one of these, please feel free to go back and check that out. Now let's get into the programming. Now right off the bat, you can see here, um, SW2, SW3, 4, 5, and 6 are gonna be my switches. And right now it is connected to the breakout box on the Neptune Apex and all I want to do none of these switches are on and they're all saying open so what I'm gonna do to make sure I get these switches labeled correctly is simply come and flip one at a time and watch that it goes from basically open to closed on the uh, switch so basically that switch that I just flicked is my oh shit switch which I want it to basically shut down my entire tank. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the other buttons on here. The blue one I'm actually just not going to do right now to kind of hopefully speed some of this video up a little bit, but the program functionalities, you know, are basically all the same. Now what I want to do here is I want to come in and I want to basically um, label my switches so I know which ones are correct. Now I did have a previous switch connected to this so I'm going to label that one back to the original name of SW6. Now SW2 as we saw in the beginning was when I flipped the oh shit switch. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to relabel that to oh shit. Now this switch that I'm going to be programming is pretty much going to shut down my entire tank in the event that someone comes upstairs my wife you know comes up here and says oh crap you know there's a bunch of water or you know which I hope she doesn't find because there's leak sensors and she'd kill me but you know there's water and everything and she can just hit that switch and shut down the tank now the second switch I want to be programming um, is going to be a feed mode switch um, but let's get into programming the oh shit switch first now like I said I want the switch to be shutting off you know everything from the return pump to the skimmer to the auto top off to the lights on the tank pretty much everything the only thing i don't want this switch to shut off is my mp40s or power heads if you have them in the tank so that was basically the simple programming is you just come in you type if oh shit switch closed then off so typing that in there basically what that's telling the apex is if the oh shit switch is in the closed position then I want it to turn whatever the device that you're in there programming off now you can do this vice versa you could turn everything on if you wanted to um, but in this program where let's just stick to what the basics are and we're just basically want this switch to shut everything off in the tank now I did my return pump I did my skimmer um, come in here and we'll do the calcium reactor pump uh, we'll do the solenoid um, and so on and so forth you basically put this same code in to each of your devices that you want to shut off if this switch was to go to the closed position now as you can see here it's in the open position so in the event like I said, we've programmed my skimmer, we've programmed my lights, we've done the return pump. Um, we didn't do the MP40s because we want them to stay on to oxygenate the tank so nothing dies until I can maybe get home from work or wherever I can get time. Now coming in here and simply flicking the switch, this should shut down my entire tank. So as you can see, it kicks the lights off, the return pump is off, and pretty much the entire tank is shut off with the exception of, like I said, the MP40s. Coming down to the sump, excuse my sump, this is a temporary sump. I'm in the middle of trying to uh, figure out what my new one is going to be. Anyways, you'll see that the siphon is now broken. The skimmer is off. Um, I left the refugium light on simply so we could just see underneath the tank stand for now. Um, like I said, I'm doing some remodeling type swapping out stuff and switching this back on you can see my return pump turns back on it kicks the lights back to its normal schedule um, now as far as the skimmer underneath um, I do have my skimmer 
on a deferred pattern from the return pump. So basically it's, you know, if return, if return off, defer, skimmer, and then however long. Mine is set for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes after the return pump kicks back on, this allows the level in the sump to settle out and 10 minutes after the return pump, the skimmer um, basically will kick back on and all that does is prevent the cup from overflowing. So that's pretty much, you know, the coding for, um, you know, whatever you want to do. This one, we're going to come in here and we're going to change SW4, which is my white button. And I'm going to make the white button a water change button. So pretty much come in here, do the same coding that you would do for the oh shit switch. But instead of putting if oh shit closed, we're going to put if and then whatever your name is, which mine is water changed, closed, then off. So in this one, I am going to shut off my MP40s so I'm not drawing any air in. Um, when the tank starts to lower in level, when I do the water change, I'm going to shut my skimmer off, I'm going to shut my ATO off, my return pump off, and I think that's about it on my, my, my setup. Now every setup is going to be different, but the program is pretty much the same. The only things that would change would be whatever you named your switch um, and obviously what you want to have turned off. So now here I'm going to hit the white button as if I'm going to come do a water change. I would just put that water change. It will shut off my return pump, my skimmer, um, and uh, ATO, and my pumps. Now the one pump that will not shut off is the one that's on the battery backup and uh, that's okay. Um, simply because that one is actually lower in the water level so it will not draw air and it's on a very low setting um, that's basically just a battery backup um, on that pump so if I were to lose power you know I still oxygenate the tank now as you can see the siphon is now broken the return pump is off I can now siphon out my water do my water change when I'm done I simply come back here I push the water change button and all my pumps return into the normal um, normal state that they were on the programming side. Now for a water change, I didn't you know, wanna turn the lights off because I use them to actually see. But as you can see here, I mean, everything goes back to normal. The programming is very, very simple. Um, you can get as advanced as you really want to. Um, and on the water change, same thing that the skimmer will not turn back on until 10 minutes after the return pump is on. And that is simply for the level in the sump to, um, to level out so the skimmer doesn't overflow in the cup. Now really all that's left to do is, you know, name the other switches, you know, that whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to use the yellow switch for something down the road i'm going to use the blue switch for something down the road um, but for now i'm not going to program them to anything right now i just wanted to program my oh shit switch that if anything goes wrong my wife or someone can hit that switch and my tank will shut down and do the water change so i can just hit that button siphon out my water and pump the new water back in and go on with my day so if you like this video please hit that thumbs up and as always like comment subscribe and happy reefing Cheers.